everybody, Elisa here again with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Um, I'm breaking this up from my previous what's in my bag video because I, I'm trying to keep these to a manageable size because it's, it's a big ask to um, expect people to sit for so long to watch a video. <laughs> I do have a, a bunch of things I thought um, would be good to show because I haven't shown them. It's not a haul that I got where every, every, I got everything all at once. Um, but it, it's just sort of stuff I had accumulated um, that I never really got a chance to show. So I thought it would be fun to show some little things that I've gotten. In addition to Pixie, is a little thing that I got recently. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had this. <laughs> um, okay, so um, in my last video, I was mentioning this, which is the hair accessories kit. And this is Rainforest Canopy. And, uh, which I probably forgot to say in my other video. <laughs> um, and I'm using it for charger cord in, in my bag. And that's what, why I bought it, because I thought this kind of an item would be interesting for another use, rather than the hair accessories kit that comes with it. Um, because as I was saying in my other video, I'm not, I'm not interested in the hair accessories kit. I mean, I, do I look like I'm interested in the hair accessories kit? Um, if I have to spend more than five minutes on my hair, I start to get pissed off. So, uh, no, I'm not a high maintenance gal. Anyway, but this is, I have, you know, my charger cord and the, and the cord itself, the plug and the cord there. But how it came with, I thought I would just show what it really came with. Uh, it came with this stuff. It might have come with some, um, bobby pins that I threw away already or something. I'm not, I don't remember. I may not have. I don't remember. But it definitely came with these two. A scrunchie, two scrunchies, and this the matching fabric and a headband. I could see maybe using this headband. The fabric, the, the ink looks nice in this fabric. I feel like it's a little bit more vivid, a little bit inkier looking, a little bit richer, the color in this type of fabric. Um, I don't think I got a good a real good section of the fabric. I don't feel like I got any birds. That's always my goal. There's a bird, but it's... I did get an orange. It's the orange bird there. Uh, there. Maybe on the inside. I guess, I guess it doesn't matter which side. It's sort of a blue bird there. It's a little cut off. Blue bird. There. Um... Anyway, so yeah, I could see playing around with this, maybe using my hair at some point. Um, these never really work for me because my hair is so thick and heavy that when I put something like this on, the ponytail or whatever tends to sort of sag down, but I don't know, maybe I'd give it a shot. Um, so that was what came in this, the hair accessories kit. Kind of an interesting, you know, circular. It's rare to get like a circular item, so I, I that made it kind of appealing to me. And it has a micro square, uh, diamond quilting, micro square quilting. There's a bird there. I was so pleased when I saw this because it has a bird on both sides. I had seen some in the store before this, seeing this one, and that it never had birds. So um, then this also was on sale. Uh, French Paisley on a roll case. Um, this is the first on a roll case that I have in this style with this flap and the zipper compartment. With, you know, the only other one I have was didn't have the flap. It was like from the, the version that just had the round case with the round section with the zipper on it. So this has a sort of a covered magnet, which is kind of nice. Um, just, just be nice and don't chew on anything, okay? <laughs> um, then I got this too. I, I don't know what I might use this for, but I was thinking if I have loose things in a bag that I need to contain, this might be good for it. So should be anything longer? I don't know. See, we'll see how I use it. But um, what was the selling factor for me was the blue bird there. That's my favorite bird in this particular pattern. People know French Paisley has a couple of birds in it. Here's another one. Oh, here's, I did get the pink one, too. So I was pleased with that. On sale, you know. It's always, it's always fun when you get something on sale. 
have this recently also on sale. Uh, since I am cutting off my tags now and not saving them when I cut them off, I'm not exactly sure what this is. Jewelry train case, maybe? Performance 12 Park Stripe. I do like this pattern a lot. And I was, got this for, for traveling with jewelry boxes when I go uh, when I go to my dad's. I mean, I, I've been using the uh, jewelry folio, which I do like. But I did want, and this has a top section here with some depth to it, maybe about an inch. And I never use the earring strips for earrings, but I try to. I, I often find other ways to utilize these to secure things. Um, this is a zipper here. It's a piece of plastic. Love the lining. Um, and this pattern. Love it. Um, sorry for the chewing noises. Peaches is over there chewing alone. But then it has this, the bottom section also unzips on three sides, which is nice because then it open, things open flat. It's easy to access. And there's a divider. This came kind of crunched, scrunched, but I, I'm hoping that as I use it with boxes in there, it'll shore it up, you know, and it'll straighten out. But that's what I really wanted because I Sometimes the jewelry folio works for me, but that is a, a flatter item. And sometimes I do like to travel with jewelry in its their proper boxes, especially my rings or pendants or something. And so I felt like this would really accommodate that. This depth would really accommodate a jewel, the small jewelry boxes. A bunch of them could be sort of squeezed in there and stacked up on each other in there. And it's got a zipper uh, pocket over here. I don't know if this is lined with chamois cloth. Yeah, yeah. So that's the line with that sort of chamois cloth. So that stuff doesn't get scratched. I mean, um, anyway, here you can see the lining really well. So pretty. Pretty lining. This would have been a nice, I would have liked this on an outside maybe. Very pretty. I mean, I, mean, I love Park Stripe too. And I ordered this, so I had no control over pattern placement, but I'm okay with it. I'm just always afraid I'm going to get a lot of negative space, and that that's always kind of a bummer. But um, I'm okay with this. So I'm pleased with that. I like the performance tool, right? It just has that nice, um, slick feeling. It feels kind of silky to the touch. And then I got... Uh, just two little things from the, I think it's Love You Lots. Oh, this has, still has a tag. I haven't cut the tags off yet, so. <laughs> um, so I can say exactly what it is. Yes, Love, oh, love You Snoopy, Clamshell Cosmetics. You know, just just a, a, a few little things from this year's uh, Valentine's pattern release with Snoopy. Um, and I know there's a tote that just this pattern without any Snoopy. Um, imagery on it also but um, I'm not a big fan of this pink this pink that they've chosen um, sorry if you heard each it's just making noises I think she burped <laughs> um, it's a little Pepto Bismol for me this pink it's a little raw the background um, so I was a little disappointed because I do like the sort of scribbled look hand-drawn look of the parts. So I'm kind of bummed I don't really like the color choices here. Um, I think that's a navy, which is nice, a little bit softer than a, than a black. And you can see the lining. Also sort of that scribbled heart motif. Um, which I, it's, maybe you can see a little better on the zip ID, I'm not sure. I did, and, and then it's got, I got it for this, you know, for the patch applique. Uh, couldn't resist Snoopy with Lucy and the smack. He's sort of got a, like a velvety kind of texture to him, a fuzzy texture to him. She's got some stitching. You know, there's some stitching details too. It's, you know, and it's a mix of thread and sort of this velvety fabric. With little drawn heart heart patches too. And I like the clamshell cosmetic because it opens wide and sits up nice, you know, so it doesn't doesn't flop over. Easy access. I like that. I did notice with this one that the plastic on the lining on the inside has a strong chemical smell. I do think it's coming from the inside. The fabric itself doesn't smell bad. It's this. I think it's this. So I've been 
leaving this out sort of open in my closet, hoping it'll air out. I don't want to put stuff in it yet. And then the zip ID does not, the, this plastic doesn't smell. There's something about that lining plastic right now. It's got a strong chemical smell. Um, but you can see the lining there a little bit, maybe better. Um, and again, because of the patch, just hard to resist him with Woodstock. Maybe with Woodstock, right? And they're holding a little heart. It's very cute. Just an uh, awful pinks, really. Just, just too, too sweet for me. So I couldn't see carrying a whole bag in this, unfortunately. So it's, it's a bummer in a way, but you know, saves me money. <laughs> it's nice not to be tempted. And then the last thing I had found when it was on sale, when I got the other uh, the hair accessories thing, it was like a day of finding birds in the store. So I got this laptop case. I think this is called a laptop organizer, and this is the first one of these I've ever bought. Again, Rainforest Canopy. Um, and I got it because it has good birds. This this fabric has the blue bird there, and I think there's another one on here somewhere. Uh, yeah, the orange one there. But the back really has, is a nice piece of fabric because it has all three of the birds together in one piece. So I was pleased with this, and it was a good price. I don't remember the price, but it was cheap. And so this, you know, is lined with the coordinating fabric, and it has a zipper pocket on the front, which has some, you know, um, slip pockets for pens or anything else organizing you might want to do in there. But I have a tendency not to want to put anything lumpy or hard, uh, like cords, charger plugs, or pens next to um, a laptop. I just... I. I mean, I'm sure the laptop is sturdy, but I just, why would you risk it, like, denting or scratching or something? It's too much, too hard things, awkward shapes, clanking together, push, being pushed together in a bag. I, I don't, I'm not crazy about it. So I tend not to keep those things so in such close proximity in a bag. So I don't, won't use those organizational pockets, and I would only probably put paper in here. Um, and, and it has a sort of a little handle there, which at first I was kind of like, ah, I'm never going to use this, but you know what? I have been. <laughs> I haven't used this. Because um, at the end of the day, when I put my computer away, I don't have a lot of storage. I don't have an office or anything. Please stop doing that. You're going to hurt yourself and you're annoying me. <laughs> now let's see if you can, I can show you what's going on over there. <laughs> Yeah, that's what's going on over here. <laughs> She's trying to fit her, oh, thanks for throwing the other pillow on the floor. She's trying to fit her like 65 pound body on a little, you know, decorative throw pillow <laughs> because she sees this one do it. This one's only 23 pounds, so she can do it. <laughs> anyway, um, so I have been, you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> at the, oh my. Yeah, that's, that's my life. At the end of the day, you know, sometimes I'll put my laptop in here and just sort of lean it against whatever. And um, so I have been picking it up by this little handle. And I do like that the handle is fabric because in the previous patterns and the previous releases, when it was signature cotton still, this piece here was pleather. And that always prevented me from even considering this because I don't like the pleather accents. So it's nice to be able to try this. My laptop is a smaller laptop. Maybe you could stay put now. <laughs> and so it swims around in this. You know, it really swims around in this. Um, but what are you going to do? And I, I do have the factory outlet version, which is the version I tend to prefer, just because it's more streamlined. It's just a simple item. Doesn't have It only has that one... <laughs> zipper section and there's no pockets and other zippers and whatever it just seems like nice and basic and I kind of like that this Bengal Lily I've shown this before but I, I pulled it out because I wanted to show the difference in size because there is a difference in size so the signature one is a little bit bigger I don't know so it's like an inch or an inch and a half bigger um, this way the long way and my laptop swims in this because my laptop is a small laptop um, so it's really, 
you know, swimming around in this, but that's fine. Um, uh, not a problem. And when I travel with my back, a backpack, I'll put the laptop in the laptop compartment without anything. Um, or when I'm carrying a tote with a laptop compartment, I tend to just put the laptop in there without any kind of sleeve around it because those compartments are padded. So anyway, that was it. Just those few little things um, from re recent acquisitions that I haven't gotten a chance to show yet. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day. Okay, you can stop doing that, please.